Hi, I'm Dayong Kang from KAIST. This is a collaborative work with Daniel Zhang, Ha Kyung Kim, Hyun Jung Jung, and Min H Kim. I'm going to present our recent work, View Dependent Scene Appearance Synthesis Using Inverse Rendering from Light Fields. Light fields are snapshots of light rays flying in the air. Conventional camera captures 2D projection, which is an integration of light fields within its field of view. Light fields camera captures 4D parameterized for information of the light rays, including the directional information as well. As light fields being high dimensional, it is popular to parameterize light fields with a two-plane coordinate system. A light ray can be represented by a pair of the coordinate in the sensor side plane ST and the coordinate in the object side plane UV, and this can be used to represent each light ray. A slice of this two-plane parameterization with a fixed sensor side coordinate ST is called sub-aperture images, and this can be seen as conventional 2D camera projections. By preserving those whole light ray information, we can synthesize refocused image with a larger virtual aperture. Among previous works on depth estimation in light fields, many works assume diffuse material and enforce photometric consistency. Pozo et al. proposed a matching-based method for 360 depth estimation from fisheye images. Few works devise appearance-aware depth estimation in light fields, by jointly optimizing geometry and reflectance. Wang et al. employ a differential approach on objects captured by micro baseline light fields camera. No et al. use an iterative method to ease Lambertian assumption. Both works are suitable for micro baseline light fields in object scale and hardly extendable to indoor scenes. State-of-the-art view synthesis method in light fields construct multiple images and then blend them. Starting from stereo MPI-based view synthesis of two other, Milden Hall other extended it to light fields using multiple MPI frostums, and Brookstone extended it to multi-spheres to provide immersive experiences. Plane blending methods are effective for detailed view synthesis. However, as they force to bake all of the reflection and appearance property into the geometric representation, their applications are hardly reachable to scene addition or relighting. In this work, we propose an inverse rendering algorithm to estimate geometric properties and represent view-dependent appearances from wide baseline light fields of indoor scenes. First, we capture light fields and estimate the geometry. Initial depth is refined iteratively using diffuse specular separation. Then the appearance is estimated by optimizing normal and reflectance, finally conducting view synthesis. We built on wide baseline light fields acquisition prototype with 4x8 machine vision cameras equipped with fisheye ranges of 185 degrees of field of view. This device provides synchronized capture and data transfer over a local network. Microprocessor called Jetson Nano manage all of the acquisition configurations and data. These sub-aperture images are indoor scenes captured by this prototype. In the geometry estimation stage, we estimate the initial depth first under diffuse assumption. We use optical flow from loft to get corresponding points among sub-aperture images. Unprojected corresponding points would converge to a 3D point, but maybe not exactly. Thus, we find a point that minimizes the squared error distance to all of the camera rays. This can be formulated as a matrix form least squares problem. Using that initial depth, diffuse and specular components are separated from input images. Diffuse reflection is estimated by the minimum intensity among warped views, and by subtracting the diffuse image from the input image, we get specular reflection. To refine the initial depth map, 
A depth disagreement map is calculated by summing the scaled distance to the camera ray using the previous formula. Owing to the specular reflection, our depth estimation fails, resulting in high residual errors in the depth disagreement map. Those are filled by another depth estimation on diffuse only images. Although the initial depth map is based on diffuse assumption, depth error by specular reflection is gradually relaxed by our iterative approach. Based on the estimated geometry, we begin with inverse rendering that includes normal and reflectance estimation. This figure shows aluminum tape on a plate and pixel intensities at the green dot location captured by each camera in a grid of 4x8. Plotting the pixel intensities in object space shows the reflection distribution of the aluminum tape. The reflection distributions differ by surface roughness of materials. Aluminum tape presents very small diffuse reflection and strong specular reflection in contrast to rough surface. Plain foam model is one of popular reflection models. According to normal, incident light direction, outgoing direction, and halfway vector, the reflection ratio is determined. Parameters for this model are diffuse albedo, specular albedo, and specular smoothness. Our image formation model is discrete summation over light sources. For each light source, take a reflection ratio of incident light power. With the captured pixel value, we then evaluate unknown parameters in our image formation model. Here the light sources are estimated from an HDR image at the center view and subsampled to construct a set of point light sources. These are known variables in our image formation model and these are unknown. Our problem statement is to find those unknown variables that minimize the total loss given known variables. For the sake of practicality, we cluster surface points and assume shared diffuse albedo, specular albedo, and smoothness per cluster in order to increase the number of angular observations. Total loss is a weighted sum of rendering loss and normal smoothness loss. Rendering loss consists of diffuse and specular loss, where the diffuse loss is L2 error between the observed and rendered diffuse component, and the specular loss is L2 error between the observed and rendered specular component. The normal smoothness loss is defined as Laplacian of surface normal. We solved this using Adam optimizer over 500 iterations. Now we demonstrate our result of geometry estimation. We quantitatively compare the geometry accuracy using synthetic scene, where pose weather and teeth weather present higher depth errors in specular region, our shows more accurate depth result. This is result from real scene. All method shows plausible depth values on diffuse surfaces. However, Pozo et al. present artifacts on specular reflection, where the photometric consistency assumption breaks down. Tid et al. shows inaccurate depth estimation on the ref specular reflection on the floor. In our method demonstrates smooth depth refinement on that region. Now we demonstrate another result from a scene with a strong specular reflection. Next, we present our appearance estimation results. The views and specular components are separated from input images, and our appearance estimation algorithm successfully reconstructs the diffuse and specular component. Finally, we demonstrate our view synthesis result. In this synthetic experiment, our algorithm synthesizes reflection close to the ground truth, even at unseen viewpoint. In experiments with rare scene, the moving reflection on the floor is realistically synthesized while keeping correct geometry. Compared to the other method, specular artifacts of Pozo Eder and oversmoothing artifacts of Milton Hall Eder are eliminated in our inverse rendering based method. By selecting subsets of input views, we evaluate in interpolation and extrapolation results of our method compared with other methods. 
Ours preserve the specular effect while not over smoothing the appearance. This highly specular skin is especially hard due to its mirror-like behavior. While others lose specular appearance, our method managed to reconstruct specular reflection. Unlike other view synthesis methods, ours also enables thin appearance editing applications. We can change the specular roughness of the material and remove or add light sources thanks to the decomposition of the appearance and geometry. Our method is not free from limitation. We cannot estimate specular components on points that have not shown specular reflection at all views. Our image formation model lacks of global illumination, thus overestimates diffuse albedo on the ceiling. The lighting is restricted to a set of diffuse point light sources. And our method cannot express metals or anisotropic material. Also, there is dependency on hyperparameters such as the number of clusters. To conclude, from wide baseline light fields, we propose a depth estimation method robust to the specular reflection employing diffuse specular separation, and our method can synthesize few dependent appearance through inverse rendering in thin scale. We also demonstrate various applications of thin scale appearance editing. Thank you for listening.